everyone, it's Megan. Welcome back to my channel and to today's new video, which is going to be a mango and H&M haul. I have the bags here to show you guys. Um, I'm sitting down because it's just too hot to even stand up and function. I feel like I'm sweating away as we speak. The weather this week has been amazing. It's definitely not the best weather to film in. So um, without further ado, I'm going to show you guys what I picked up from H&M and mango this week. I hope you guys enjoy and if you do, then please do like and subscribe. So I'm going to start with H&M and the first thing I got from H&M was this knitted beige dress and I just got this because I love things like this to throw on when it's just unbearably hot and you just want to put on some slides and a beach bag and still look like you've put some thought into your outfit. I love this one from H&M. It's just got this ribbed detailing which goes in and I just think it's a really lovely shape and it looks really expensive. I'm definitely getting back more into my neutrals now. I had a little moment with loads of colours. I just think it's really easy to create a formula with neutral colours where you can just throw everything on all together and it always works. That was my foot on the chair. Um, so then next up, I got this little off the shoulder white top. It kind of reminds me of a marshmallow because it like really puffs out. Um, and it just about covers that area. So it could be a bit risky and it doesn't really feel like the elastic's that strong underneath. Um, I'll leave a little thing on the screen saying about it if it's um, risky, but I just thought it would be really simple and easy to wear. Um, everything I wear is just simple and easy. And this is the kind of top that you could really dress up or dress down. You could just wear this with trainers or heels if you're going out for dinner. Um, and yeah, I thought I'd give this little marshmallow top a go. And I also got this one in a small. So then the next thing I got was this little racer kind of taupey coloured tank and I've actually got one exactly like this. I honestly wear it so much. It just looks so nice. It's done in this colour. just really works with blue. It's got this really thin racer neck which I thought could look really nice with some gold dangly jewellery. I did get this one in an extra small as well because sometimes I find that H&M basics are really big and baggy and I really wanted it to be really tight fitting. But the next thing I got, I think it's actually meant to be like a high neck top as well, but the string has like really come down because it is that kind of like tie up the back string type top, uh, which I just thought was a gorgeous detailing. I thought this could look really nice with a white linen pair of trousers and that could be a really nice holiday fit if you're fortunate enough to be going away. I really love the colour of it as well and it is that kind of crepe I never know whether you say it as a crap or crepe. Crap, it's definitely crap, the pancake. And I also got this one in a small. So then funny story with these, I ordered these trackies to wear to the airport for LA, um, which if you watched my last video with Anna in, we spoke briefly about, obviously that trip has been canceled. We kind of knew it was always gonna be canceled. Um, so we've postponed it for next year which is great but I don't really need the trackies to wear um, on the plane anymore but they're always good to have a pair of trackies when it gets a bit cooler and this is like a really nice soft fluffy grey and I just think trackies like this are heaven sent and I don't really have a pair like this I'm always wearing like if I'm on the go I'm always just wearing black sports leggings but I think it could be cute to wear something like this with a crop top if I'm just nipping out so the next up is one of my favourite pieces from this haul and my favourite thing I've got in a long time actually. Um, it's just super simple but it's this white linen, hugely oversized shirt from H&M. I got this one in an extra large um, and it's this really nice like cheesecloth fabric. I've honestly been wearing this all week around the pool, just over a bikini and I just think it looks so lovely. It really covers everything so you don't have to worry about chucking on shorts or anything and at the front as well it covers everything. Um, but the reason why I love it is because it's kind of sheer and see-through, which I think just looks so pretty, especially with a nice bright bikini underneath. That is definitely my favourite piece or second favourite piece in the haul. Um, so then next up, I am so pleasantly surprised by this dress. I got this blue shirt dress, kind of like on a whim, but it just looks phenomenal. It just shapes your figure so beautifully and um, it really comes in at the waist. I'm going to be getting so much wear out of this when it gets a tiny bit cooler. I really love the shade of blue as well. It's in between like that pastel and 
um, bright blue and I just feel like it's really flattering to my skin tone, especially with a tan. I did get this in a small and you do have to be careful with these dresses because if you size down even slightly then the holes in between the buttons do start to open up a bit. Um, which happens ever so slightly with this dress, but I think I can get away with it. So I definitely stay true to size and if not size up for a shirt dress. Okay, so then last up from H&M, I have this little stony beige type sports bra. And I wanted to get a sports bra which didn't really cut into my back for when I'm doing stuff like Pilates and stretching. And it's honestly it surprised me so much how good the quality of this is. I feel like it's so supportive that you could even wear it for running. So yeah, I'm just so amazed by this. If you're looking for some cheap gym wear, then definitely go to H&M because I think this was something like £12 and it's actually really good quality. I did also get a pair of black shorts to wear from H&M with this. They're in the wash right now. But, but yeah, that's just what I've been wearing to stay nice and cool. And yeah, I just feel like it makes me look so nice, which I love. And obviously with active wear, it has to be a trade-off between quality and like practicality and looking nice. And I feel like this definitely it does both. Okay, so then that's H&M all done. And I do only have two pieces to show you from Mango, but I wanted to include them nevertheless because I do think they're really nice. So first up is this little bright blue knitted tank, which I just think is the nicest shade of blue. I love my blues, as you'll probably be able to tell. And this one is just no exception. It's got these ribbed knitted details, but like the first dress, which I really love and lean towards. And I just think this sort of top will look really nice. A pair of wide leg jeans, actually, or even denim shorts. Only thing is, I was hoping that it would be a bit more like all the way across and it's definitely more of an of like a high neck top which is absolutely fine because I love that as well um but yeah and I did get this one in a small okay so then last but not least from Mango we have this little bag which when I saw it, I had to get it it really reminds me of the Prada Clio bag with this kind of unusual shape which is kind of flattened out slightly at the bottom I don't know if you can see but I just absolutely love the Prada Clio it's such a cute bag it's so impractical though it's the thinnest thing I've ever seen in my life as well as this one's thicker so you can definitely fit lots of stuff in here and um, I also love the strap it's like a thick chunky buckle strap which I just think looks amazing I also got some sliders from Zara which match perfectly with this. So I do love it. I do have so many shoulder bags that I'm not sure I can justify another one. But um, this is absolutely gorgeous if you're looking for one. It's sort of this like nudie pink, almost cream colour. But yes, yeah, so it's definitely a great shoulder bag if you're on the lookout for a good Gee. Okay, so that brings me to the end of today's haul video. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Um, let me know down below what your favourite item is. I would love to know. And as always, I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye!